Well, it took seven years to negotiate this agreement and there was a while when I thought uh, there will never be an ag agreement uh, until uh, European and Chinese leaders uh, found uh, uh, consensus at the, the last moment in December. Uh, so when the agreement was signed, we realized there are some good points on market access for the car industry, for healthcare, but also uh, much better was also the level playing field. We care about state or enterprises, uh, the subsidies of these companies, and then of course there was the so-called sustainability basket, meaning uh, labor uh, relations and so forth. There it is, seven years of negotiations. We have it, we're very happy, and 12 weeks later, maybe we have to wait another seven years. Well, on June 9th, we launch our position paper, our launch uh, survey, which indicates on how our companies are feeling. And so in three weeks, you have more data on this one. But uh, what is astounding is the pessimism last year when we took this sample in the middle of COVID. Nobody expected 2020 to be a good year. And then looking back for many, 2020 was the best year they ever had. Uh, and that certainly has to do with the fact that China was dealing with a COVID crisis, very robust, uh, draconian measures, uh, people are very safe, the economy could kickstart very fast. And then second, that China is the factory for the world for things that the world needs in a lockdown, electronics, healthcare, equipment and so forth. So China enjoys an incredible export uh, uh, for the whole year and still uh, does that. And when you can see the dimensions of economies, clearly there's a huge potential for China to actually become really the most important export market that we have. And really it's to the fact that China produces products that our customers like. It's, it's good, it's uh, efficient and hence uh, can't blame European consumers of uh, going shopping for Chinese products. So when I came here 40 years ago to China, uh, I realized, of course, how low the development is, how poor people are. But if you see the, the history you could exp of China being basically an uh, economic heavy hitter for decades or centuries, you could imagine that China will have a comeback story. And that's what happened now. And uh, we have now a situation where China is still relatively backward when it comes to $10,000 per capita uh, in GDP terms, the US is 65,000 and that should give every businessman the confidence to say, you know, even for the next 10, 20 years, China will have a very strong growth potential. I think that China will stand for 30% of global growth in the next uh, 10 years at least, uh, as much as all the big economies, Japan, America and Europe uh, together. It's going to be the success story, it's going to be the growth story. So there is no alternative, there's no second China anywhere around.